Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansu's Universe, it's me, Yansa. This is an All Signs May 2023 reading. We're going to get predictions for you. This will be general, okay? I've already posted your messages from Spirit. Check that out. It'll be linked in the description box. I've already prayed off camera, you guys. Thank you so much for being with me. Let's see what May has to offer. Remember, if anything doesn't resonate, please check your other placements. I will be doing new readings for specifically, you know, sun, moon, rising, Venus, things like that. So check that out. That'll be posted soon. For now, let's jump into it. We're going to get messages for all signs from Aries to Pisces, May 2023. All right. Okay, let's start with Aries. All right. We have the Wheel of Fortune jumping out. Great karma. I hear good news for you. You've been holding back. Things might have been tough up till now. You could have had a challenging April. I feel like there's a lot of change going on in your life, Aries. You could be changing jobs, changing careers. You could be moving up within your company. You could be going to a completely different place, moving, traveling, things like that. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Aries. The Ace of Pentacles knew everything. I'm telling you good news with the Page of Wands. So here's your acceptance here. Go ahead and apply. Some of you might be wanting to apply, but you're scared. The Wheel of Fortune may, I'm telling y'all, this whole season here, great luck, okay? Especially for you, Aries. Now, whatever side of karma you're on but i'm saying this is good karma for you which means any hold up or blockages on money the blockages are being removed solid stable offers in love career and finances i really feel like this is just really more about your stability you're about to be a lot more happy within yourself that's going to bring forth love could be with the fire sign yeah, you guys are walking away from something. The Eight of Cups just jumped out. You guys are going to be silent. You guys are going to be, you know, focused for now. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or an Earth sign, okay? Moving on to Taurus. Hey, Taurus. You guys, don't forget to like the video. I appreciate it. All right, Taurus. You guys have the Fool coming out. Could be dealing with the Pisces, Aquarius, or an Aries with death. So something has changed, something has ended in your life. You also are taking a new leap of faith somewhere, traveling, throwing caution to the wind. Clarify the fool for Taurus. You gotta be kidding me. You got the ace of pentacles as well, like Aries. You guys could be Aries, Taurus, cuss. Watch the watch the Aries reading. But we have the five of wands here. Now you might be forced to need to take this leap of faith because you feel like you're being um cornered on all sides somebody could be put you know you got your back against the wall you don't know what to do people are arguing fighting toxic work environment maybe your relationship it's just too much drama chaos people in the mix yeah five of one spirit pinnacles everybody got too much of a say so in your life and you like you're trying to please everybody ten of wands and you like you know what i'm hurting myself i can't keep doing this i i gotta make an investment i gotta figure out what choice what option whatever it is you choose you will be happy okay you will be happy all right gemini all right thank you guys for liking the video this is for gemini you guys are gonna be in a relationship excuse me You guys are going to be in a relationship, the Four of Wands. You could be dealing with the fire sign. Excuse me. I got my fan off. I got my fan on. I probably should cut it off. Because I'm to, don't tell me my eyes. It's been the water. What's going on? Allergies? Okay. Clarify the Four of Wands. We have the Eight of Swords. There's something that you cannot stop thinking about. Now, you've distanced yourself. You could have even moved. You could have got yourself out of the situation physically, but you're still in it mentally. Or you could have got yourself out of the situation mentally, but you're still in it physically. Because we have the Eight of Swords tied to the Four of Wands. So you could be physically stuck in this place or mentally stuck in this place. This heartbreak. 
so what I'm seeing is there's too many memories. This, you can't let it go. Clarify the four of wands. Three of wands, eight of cups, the lovers. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back. You can have a controlling mother. Now, I feel like some of y'all can have kids. And you don't want to be in this relationship. You don't want to be in this. I feel it's, it could be an apartment even. You could be having issues with your apartment, with your house, and your um, house hunting, job hunting, doing something because you just don't want to be in this situation anymore. You want to leave for the kids, do what's best for yourself, do what's best for the kids, what have you. Okay? But you have a lot of history. So what I'm seeing is you guys are just rewriting, rewriting your own history here. Like, you don't have to be confined to what you normally do. You can do something different. You can change your mind as many times as you want. You're a Gemini. I love y'all, and it's all love when I say this. Y'all change y'all mind anyway. Any, I mean, so the Queen of Swords. But I feel like you might be scared because you for real this time. You are for real this time, okay? So whatever you might be afraid of, let your no be no and your yes be yes, Gemini. All right, moving on. Cancer. You guys, don't forget to like the video. What do you have for Cancer? The Chariot. You guys, I like this because you guys, I feel like the only person you hear right now is yourself, your spirit guides. You're in the zone. I feel like you guys are laser focused. I feel like you guys are cutting away all the distractions. How can I move forward? Forget all of that extra stuff, okay? And this could be in a relationship. You could be getting with another cancer or a water sign. Wow, somebody has a lot of emotions. Clarify the chariot for cancer. You guys are the only ones getting the love reading here. We got the three of wands. You guys are traveling, going on vacation. Eight of wands at the bottom of the deck. A lot of movement. But we have the two of swords. Something is, you're either ignoring something or something is blocking you from moving forward. Okay? Could be fears. Here you go again with the moon. But you guys are cutting through your fears. I feel like there's a conversation you're going to have or an aha moment. But remember, just by picking up the chariot, I felt it. What can I do to move forward? Forget all of that extra stuff. All of that extra stuff. It's about me being content with myself. It's about me being content with the person I want to be with. So you could be a woman dating a woman, a man dating a man, um, whatever, ha what have you, okay? But you want growth and expansion. I feel like I can tell whatever this is, is unorthodox. Yeah, it is, two of one. It's unorthodox. You could deal with a fire sign, a lot of fire, a lot of water. I see Libra and Taurus as well. So you guys don't really care what anybody got to say. I like that. Moving on to Leo. All right. Hey, Leo. We got the Ace of Swords for you, Leo. You guys want to be free. Okay, whatever it is that's been blocking you, tying you down, leaving you confused, leaving you to where you don't even want to see certain things. You have to. You have to see it for what it is. Acknowledge it for what it is. See this person for exactly who they are. It could be somebody from the past. Yes, Six of Cups. Seeing the situation at face value. Okay. What do you know to be true, Leo? Clarify the Ace of Swords. The lovers. Okay, you know you have a connection with somebody? You know somebody got feelings for you, Leo? What's this? We have the five of pentacles. Okay, I know I have a connection with this person. I know I have feelings for them. This person might even have feelings for me, but it's not working. Five of pentacles, five of wands. It's not working. Yeah, two of cups and the devil. This not working. It's not healthy for me. Eight of swords. It don't even have to be a relate. It don't have to be a relationship romantically. It could be with your mom, your dad, your brothers, sisters, your coworkers, your work environment. This is how I know how I feel with the Ace of Swords. It may be a strong connection or I feel like it's a, a reason for it all, spiritually, emotionally, what have you. But 
What I also do know is this has me obsessed, feeling confused and conflicted within myself and with others. I'm at odds with other people because of how I'm feeling. Left out in the cold. Competition. And you could be obsessed about love, Leo. You could want it so bad. Or it could be a person. I like this person, but they're not treating me right. I don't like how they make me feel. I don't like the situation. I don't like being stuck in my head and hurt and crying all the time. I don't even have my confidence. No more, Leo. So what I'm seeing is, is Leo, you could be thinking about people you have connections with, people you have feelings for, people you love, but you could also be seeing, I love these people, but they don't treat me the way I treat them. They don't love me the way I love them. I have to let this go because I'm at, I'm at odds with myself. I'm in conflict within myself. Okay, you gotta get this monkey off your back. You got to. Big change here for you, Leo. 555. Five, five. Look up um, the number five or the angel number 555. Five, five. You're going to finally start doing yourself uh, better, okay? You're doing yourself a disservice here. No more doing yourself a disservice. Time to treat yourself better. I know you like this person, but liking the, what has liking this person ever done for you? All right. You'll get over it. Tough love. You will get over it. All right. Come on. Don't forget to like the video, Leo. Come on, Virgo. All right. Here you go. You could be doing with the Pisces. We have the High Priestess and the Moon. You guys are getting even more spiritual. There's a secret. Somebody's pregnant. Somebody's pregnant. Going through motion sickness. I feel like... That's a surprise, a surprise pregnancy, a surprise baby shower, a surprise victory. Clarify the moon and the high priestess. We have the eight of swords as well. Somebody could be eight weeks, eight months pregnant. Clarify the moon and the high priestess. The queen of cups, you can't tell me somebody not pregnant. So what I'm seeing is there's a secret relationship, a secret romance, a secret pregnancy, okay? Somebody deliberately is keeping secrets. Okay, we have the Eight of Cups as well. Eight, eight. Okay, what is this for Virgo? May 2023. The Death Card. Clarify the, clarify the Moon. Nine of Pentacles. Clarify the High Priestess. Ten of Cups. Well, this is what popped into my head. So some of y'all, somebody paid somebody for sex and they got pregnant. I, I said it, I said it. Okay, this ain't gonna resonate for everybody. Okay, now if you didn't pay nobody for sex, I'm seeing there's a bachelor and what they do is like, I don't know if you just have a fling, a one night stand or something with somebody, but you get very invested or you get, somehow wrapped in to something you don't want. Be careful. Cause I'm seeing somebody is getting tied or wrapped into something that this wasn't even what they were intending to get tied or wrapped into. Okay. I don't, I don't know. Some of y'all could be getting married as well. All right, moving on to Libra. Thank you guys for liking the video. All right, Libra. How y'all doing? Okay. Y'all gonna be real happy May 2023. The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. Clarify the Nine of Cups for Libra. All right, we have the Five of Swords. You gonna get what you want regardless. Okay? Very, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like, Somebody's like, I'm the shit. I'm the shit. 
Okay, we have the hangman with the wheel of fortune. I hear it's up and it's stuck. What do that mean? It's up and it's stuck. And we have the ace of cups here. No, y'all gonna have a good mate. Clarify the nine of cups one more time. Strength. Ooh, we. Some of y'all are getting a new wardrobe. I see y'all shopping. I hear. I hear this gonna fuck them up. This gonna kill them. Okay, some of y'all could be focused on your appearance. Clarify the hangman. The queen of cups is coming out for everybody. A Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Strong. Clarify the hangman. The Ace of Wands, yeah, it's up and it's stuck. The hangman. So there's somebody that you are hanging around with. Why do I hear tag along? <laughs> tag along, ride along. Okay. It's up and it's stuck. I don't know what that means. I feel like it's a good thing. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So good things are coming here. I feel like you're going to be in this energy for a while. This is positive energy. The Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups. Two brand new beginnings. Now, I'm not going to lie. I feel like you guys are in your bag. You guys are in this type of selfish energy. I feel like it's working for you. I do. I feel like it's working for you. You guys are withholding from nonsense. You don't want to take part of the shenanigans. Like, no, nah, I'm really focused on myself. I'm going to do me no matter the cost. I feel some of y'all are eating better too. Like, I don't know. I'm not eating that shit. I'm not eating that. I'm not eating those sweets. I'm not eating past six o'clock. I'm not eating all that heavy. None of that. I don't want to do that. Okay. I hear you don't want to be around lazy people. So this is really, you guys are going to be active. Okay. You guys will actively be seeing the will of fortune, like all the good blessings and good news and good karma. Okay, you guys are actively going to be able to see it and feel it. All right, thanks for liking the video. Moving on to Scorpio. Come on, Scorpio. What we got for May 2026? Ooh-wee. Who y'all cussing out? Y'all telling somebody something. First of all, you know you love me. You know you want this. <laughs> Knowing damn well you the one who want it. Okay, clarify the Queen of Swords. Nah, but I feel like somebody might have you messed up. Ooh, the King of Swords, the King and Queen of Swords, both y'all got each other messed up. Y'all like that feisty shit. Yes, you do. Don't tell me you don't. You could be dealing with the Leo. Y'all like that. Y'all like that aggressive shit. Yes, you do. Clarify the Queen of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. Clarify the King of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups. The Queen of Swords has the Three of Swords, while the King of Swords has the Ten of Cups. Now, the, it seems like the feminine is the one with that heartbreak attached here. The masculine got happiness over there. So, what is this? What is this? King of Wands. Ace of Wands. Okay, so what I'm seeing is there's somebody that's satisfied in their ways and whatever it is that they do already. They're not going to change. I feel like this Queen of Swords is kind of feeling a little neglected. I feel like, honestly, you want to get your freak on. It's, it's just that simple. You want to get your freak on. This person likes things as they are. They're not wanting to change. Whatever it is that's good with them is good with them. But it's not good with you. It's not good with this feminine here. So what I'm seeing is there's somebody hot and heavy, sexy, and got that thing. That might be coming in to turn that frown upside down okay but I, I i don't know if you're in a relationship or not or maybe you're on a break with this person or not or maybe you know this could all be you guys could just be single and your feminine energy is feeling neglected but your masculine energy okay you're a go-getter honestly everything is good you know you're happy okay you're not um, getting mistreated, you know, 
you could and then you i feel like you're asking yourself okay i should be satisfied i'm living a good life i have a good job i'm you know i can sleep knowing that ain't nobody cheating on me but i feel like that femininity is crying out for this okay i need some love and affection i can't say that just say that shit just say that Fire, Leo, air, water. You gonna get it too. All right, that's what I hear. You gonna get it. All right. Uh, thank you for liking the video. Moving on to Sagittarius. All right, let me hurry up. You have the Nine of Cups coming out for you too. Just like, who got that? Libra got it. Okay, check out the Libra reading. Ooh, okay. Nine of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Now, I automatically get that somebody could be pocket watching you, but then we have the page of wands as well. I don't know if you have a, a bunch of kids or a bunch of suitors. I don't know if you're spending money on dates. Somebody could be spending their money on you because you're happy. You make money. People see that. Clarify the nine of cups. Yeah, the Empress. You have growth, expansion, wish fulfillment. Everything's good. You're not tripping. You're happy. Clarify the Page of Swords. This could be a message or communication. The Page of Pentacles. All these pages coming out. Y'all are starting something new, traveling. People are wanting to talk to y'all. But I see the all the pages that I've seen, the king came behind it. So there's a lot of growth and expansion and almost every area of your life for you Sagittarius with the ten of pentacles y'all getting that coin y'all have that stability everything's good growth and expansion but I feel like there might be a tower moment for you we have the four of swords clarify the four of swords y'all could be pregnant the three of pentacles there might be a point in time to where you have to depend on people the nine of swords oh yeah Okay, so there's a point in time to where you might have to depend on people and it stresses you out. You're kind of a control freak, a little sad. You are, okay? We love you though. So, if and how you are, Sagittarius, you know how you are. If you want things done right, you just do it yourself. You do, you just do it yourself. But there's a point in time to where you might have to depend on somebody or depend on multiple people and they're stressing you out. Clarify the Nine of Swords. The Six of Pentacles, I don't think it's going to be as bad as you think. And with the star coming out, with the tower, it's gonna, it's not going to be as bad as you think, okay? I just see you have to regulate and delegate because this is causing growth and expansion. So I don't know if you're getting work done in your house and you have to tell, you know, the construction people what to do. You have to regulate people, tell them what to do all the time and things like that. But I'm just seeing you depending on whoever this is, is not gonna, I know it's scary, but it's not gonna turn out as bad as you think because I'm seeing everything, all this growth and expansion coming your way. You're gonna have a good month. All right, thank you for liking the video. Come on, Capricorn. All right. You guys could be dealing with a Gemini or a Virgo. We have the Magician. Ooh, hey, Big Daddy. You guys are manifesting. Now, what do we mean by manifesting? We're manifest. So these are two very controlling cards. I'm not going to lie. These are kind of controlling here. So maybe you could have a fear of losing control. You have to. You just have to have some form of your hands or a say so and whatever. Nothing wrong with it. Okay. Back to the main subject that I'm seeing. You guys are manifesting just more stability in your life. You're manifesting that new job, that new career, that new home. You could be even manifesting a partner or a child. You know, that's what the emperor represents. Taking, you know, control of your life, growing and expanding it and really setting forth and acquiring. So you guys could be manifesting things to come to you. You're acquiring a car, you're acquiring objects and things like that. Clarify the magician. We have the hang, the hangman here. So a lot of majors are coming out for you. Clarify 
yeah this did want to come out the five of wands mm. clarify the five of wands the five of cups go check out the leo reading clarify the emperor the eight of wands Four of Wands. Ten of Wands. Yeah, the Five of Swords. What I'm seeing is somebody got you by the balls, Cap Capricorn. Somebody got you by the balls, okay? This is a rom romantic relationship. Somebody got you by the balls. Now, this person is trying to see who got the bigger dick. I can already tell. And you like, you know what? I've been letting you slide. I've been letting you have it. But watch this. Look, I've been letting you slide. I've been letting you have it. You know what? I got something for you. I got, I got a little trick up my sleeve. I have a little trick. I have I have a little trick up my sleeve. Okay? That's what I see. <laughs> That's what I see. You like, you know what? I got something for you. I do. I got something for you. You got another thing coming. Okay? That, I feel like... I feel like, I don't know what the hell that was. Give me a different message for Capricorn. What's going on, May 2026? 20, I feel like you, you are, I don't know. If you just have been letting things slide, you just going to be like, nah, I ain't letting shit slide no more. I'm not. I'm not letting that shit slide no more. Y'all got another thing coming, May 2023. Y'all ain't finna be doing this. And I'm not, not saying nothing. Y'all, y'all tripping. Okay. We do have the lovers. This is a Gemini in y'all energy. Okay. Three of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Three of Pentacles. I'm getting, so I feel like this is a, part two to that first message I feel like somebody somebody is doing things and saying things to see how far they can get with you Capricorn and you're like you know what I'm not your string alone you don't got me in your back pocket I actually have you in my back pocket watch this but it kind of hurts you to have to do that like it kind of hurts you to have to show this person like first of all I can get I can get bitches Okay, why you, why am I getting like that Sierra future type of shit? You talk, what she say? You didn't upgrade me, I upgraded you. What the hell? I'm, bye. All right, Aquarius. <sighs> Thank you for liking the video. Come on, Aquarius. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Aries, heck, got this. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Y'all are getting money, stability. You guys have a plan, a set plan. The strategy. Yeah, we have a lot of stories. I see a lot of communication here. Now, I want you to really um, double check the check the car facts is what I heard. Double check the paperwork. Double check the fine print. Double check the facts. Because I feel like it's too easy to get um, things misconstrued and miscommunicated, especially within your strategy. You strategizing, but other people could be strategizing as well. Yeah, the Queen of Swords. We have the King of Swords already out. You could be strategizing, but other people could be strategizing as well. So I see you are trying to stay two, three, four, five, seven steps ahead of whoever this is. But I feel like you're going to come out victorious. We have two aces coming out here for you. You're having a plan. You're setting forth trying to create more stability for yourself. Yeah, with the emperor. You'll be dealing with an Aries. A lot of air. So I see y'all are talking to a lot of people, communicating, emailing, texting. Yeah, y'all are talking to a lot of people during the month of May. Okay, anything else? I feel like you get what you want. You get what you want, the sun and the ace of cups. You get what you want. You get exactly what you want. Clarify the seven of swords. The four of pentacles and the five of wands. So what I'm seeing is that you do got some hateration, some haterade here. I'm feeling like 
people, there might be people going out of their way. Now, it don't even have to be people. Sometimes it's deliberately and intentionally. And sometimes it's, you, you know, them little weird energies. Okay. But it's weird because I feel like somebody don't want you to go nowhere, but don't want to keep you either. Which is weird. But other than that, what I'm seeing is we got the four of pentacles. There are people that could be withholding information from you and you're going to have to dig for it. You're going to have to fight for it. Like, you're going to have to dig and fight for the truth. People are withholding information or um, skipping over an important key fact, Aquarius. And that might cause some confrontation. And you might have to pull the book out on them. You might have to. Or go above the chain of command on somebody's ass. Um, but I'm seeing you get what you want. You're just going to have to fight for it. But y'all are Aquarius. Y'all do that anyway. Um, things come to you. Okay? Y'all are so y'all are so blessed and loved, Aquarius. I'm trying to see what else I'm seeing here. That's all I'm seeing. The Seven of Swords is also... I hear somebody throws the rock and hides their hand. There's somebody close to you, a friend, who I don't think they're going to be successful, but whether knowingly, unknowingly, intentionally, unintentionally, directly, indirectly, this person be, could throw a monkey wrench in your plans. They're not going to be successful, though. Okay? All right, thank you for liking the video. Last but not least, come on, Pisces. Let's do it. Let's do it, Pisces. Let's do it. All right. All right, Pisces. We have the star coming out for you. You could be dealing with an Aquarius with the Ace of Cups. You guys are feeling a lot better. I don't know if there's some type of healing here. You're healing in your body, your heart, your emotions. Okay. The Page of Cups. Some of y'all could some of y'all could have just had a baby. And you're healing. What is that? Maternity leave? Clarify the star for Pisces. Some of y'all could be having like a surgery or some type of operation or something like that okay so we have the knight of wands and ten of wands clarifying the star so i hear quick and speedy recovery i see temperance so that is healing here so what i'm seeing is also side note well the side note is actually possibly the main message the star does represent healing but you do know it takes more than just something quick to heal it takes time it takes effort you might want something to heal or come as faster than it is that's not how it works Pisces anything worth having that may it takes time a lot of times but there I to be honest a lot of times God be wanting to bless spirit be wanting to bless so a lot of times when things be coming and things like that I ain't gonna say it, it don't matter but I feel like in this instance, because I'm projecting, I'm sorry. Because some, because God be wanting to bless. Side note, and I'm just going to, after this, go back to the message. God do, Spirit really do be wanting to bless. And it does come easy sometimes. Why is it so hard for us to accept when it do come easy? Like we did something wrong or we kind of feel bad that it came easy. Like, is this you got? Literally a, a blessing. Okay, so that's when... Pray for discernment. And I'm talking about myself as well. I have Pisces in my Lilith. That's why I can talk to y'all like this. So, in this instance, this healing, this newness, this wish that you want, I'm feeling like you might want it to come fast, but this is going to take a little time. That's why you got to use your discernment. Is this something, is this a blessing that's coming fast, a quick one? Or is this one that's going to, you know, need to be nurtured and things like that? What's the Queen of Cups? Sorry. It all ties in, okay? The lovers. Okay. There's some type of emotional, spiritual bond connections or feelings that you have. Clarify the Queen of Cups again. 
the Knight of Swords communication. So we see two knights. These are the fastest traveling knights, Knight of Wands, Knight of Swords. What is this that's happening so quickly? Clarify the Page of Cups. Okay, we have the Devil coming out. Clarify the Page of Cups again. The Four of Wands. I feel like the Devil card represents some type of insecurity that you have within you because the Devil came under the Page of Cups. That's, the Page of Cups could also, that's you, Pisces. Kind of represents your self-image, how you feel about yourself. Also, what you feel like you are worth. Do you feel like you're worth just this tiny page, this tiny offer of this that's fickle, that comes and goes? You know, that puts you on an emotional roller coaster. Do you feel like you're worth that? Because I'm seeing this is where you put a lot of your eggs, okay? They say don't put all your eggs in one basket, but you have. You've put your hopes in this, your faith in this, your stability in this. You've actually put a foundation on top of this. Here. But this foundation is shaky. It's easy to tear down. It's easy to find cracks within it. It's premature. It's immature. So this is what I'm seeing here for you, Pisces. You're growing. That's all it is. Could be going through some growing pains. And you're wanting it to just, you don't, you just don't want to feel the hurt anymore. You want to just be a better person, you know, drastically, but that's not how it works. <laughs> okay. Y'all are really the bomb Pisces. It's like y'all just, the way that y'all grow, the way that y'all evolve, it's like layers within layers. It could be one big growth, but that's not the only one. It could be a bunch of small growths. It could be 15,000 growths within one, you know? I'm just seeing like shedding of old skin for you. So I'm seeing in regard to at least healing of the mind, body, soul, spirit, putting in that work. Some of y'all could be going to rehab, but healing of your emotions. It's taking, you know, repairing those connections, but also letting the ones that can't be repaired go because your foundation is at stake. But the good things about that is you can always rebuild Pisces, okay? I like this. Y'all had a deep ass message. I'm gonna have to save this one for myself. I love you guys. Until I see y'all again, check out all your other readings. Check out your spirit messages. Y'all be safe. Bye.